good evening to everyone. How are you? I hope you all are fine. Thank you. Yesterday I told you that I had launched YouTube channel. That is MVR's MVR's Learning Institute. Please subscribe our channel and click on bell icon. So I want to let you know one thing. There is a reason why I have started YouTube channel. Actually, I would have to stop this channel one year ago, but I couldn't. By then I was busy with my regular work. Right now I do have the same work, but I have thought of my children known as my students. Most of my students phoned me and asked me to give some online classes regarding communication skills. I told them that I would give some classes but I couldn't due to some unavailable reasons. Frequently, they would call me, but I was unable to give them online classes. Recently, many, many students in the same way, they have kept a pressure on me. Sir, we are going some institutions in order to learn communication skills, but we are not satisfied. They said to me. Then I thought of them. As they are keeping in touch with me and asked me to give some online classes. Why I can't give them? Just they are asking me some classes. I am useful for them. So they have recognized me. So why can't I give? Then I thought of them, I started YouTube channel as MVR's Learning Institute. I thought that I would give some other names, but they suggested me. Sir, this is the best with your icon, so we will be aware of the channel. So this is the reason that I have to, that I had to start the channel. Anyhow, so this is the best stage to communicate my students and we feel very glad to meet each other on this stage. So my dear students, I feel very happy to give the classes through the way and my dear friends, colleagues, just you have to share your reviews also with me. I hope my online classes will be useful to everyone. So please share others. Whatever I upload the classes, just share, share your friends or any other persons and ask them to subscribe our channel. It will be so useful each and every one. So just uh, before we are going to okay, just let us enter our class. Before we are going to enter our class, I want to suggest you regarding COVID-19 coronavirus. And my dear students, friends, colleagues, please be at home, be safe. And try to think of being with your family members and try to think of spending with your friends at your home, not, not try to come out of your houses. Please try to understand. So this is be, being Indian, this is right now our responsibility to show what we are. So sometimes we try to do something. So it's time to do our part. 
So do you know whether we have done or not? We don't know. Just leave it. Forget the matter. So we have got the opportunity to do the work. So being Indians, being right season, being Indian, being right person, we have to do what the government says to us to do. So please follow that. Okay, I, I hope you will follow the precautions. Thank you. So let's end our class. So as my students asked me, communication skills. So a communication skill is nothing but a conversation. Conversation generally there are two kinds. Formal talk, informal talk. What is the difference between formal talk and informal talk? Informal talk is occurring between friends. Formal talk is occurring between strangers, between officials. So generally we are discussing here, it is a informal talk, but informal talk cannot be without basics. Either formal talk or informal talk, it needs some basics. What are the basics? There are many conversations. There are many conversations. It's a conversation language. Not language, it's a language. Regarding English direct. Just to see the difference between mother tongue and English tongue. A slight difference. Mother tongue you can never forget. Yes, because by birth you are accustomed to learn the language. But foreign tongue that is known as English tongue you may forget. How long do you remember your neighbors? You can say, answer, I expect, as long as to keep in touch with you. Or else, how? How much time? That is, uh, how long, how long time do you remember them? For some time. Yes. Till you remember them, you can. After some time, you can forget automatically. So English dialect also like that. If you put in practice, you can get it. You have to make your tongue habituate. Put in practice every day. Not only for one day, but also every day. Every day you have to put in practice. Make your tongue get a habituation with English. So, in a way we can enhance our communication skills. So my dear uh, students, so you put in practice so what I am going to teach you. What I am going to teach you, you put in practice. Just take a piece of paper and pen, put in practice, 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 and makes them perfect one day. You don't worry about communication. I want you to make you get communication. I will try to make you get clarified. Whatever you have doubts. So whatever you have doubts, just put a message. So this is my issue. Just I am unable to get it. So try to, I will try to make you get clarified. Okay? Just do that. And see here, I know uh, there are many conversational issues, conversations, meeting at airport, bus stand, railway station, or at restaurants, or some other places. So there are many conversational issues. But here I have taken the first one meeting. Why I have selected? Why I have selected the first conversational topic as a meeting? 
generally we are all facing some obstacles what are the obstacles obstacles are nothing but problems so issues here what you are the here there are four conversations i have written see conversation one conversation two conversation three and conversation four what see if we observe all these there are reasons this indicates one thing and this indicates another thing this indicates another thing this indicates another thing but there is an interlinking language there is that is called what here an interlinking purpose once you see the purpose the first one conversation one here the conversation one is going between a and b i didn't select anybody's names i have selected a is the one person and b is the second person again a is the first person b is the second person in c in all conversation so these persons i mean these two persons are common so come on the first one a conversation one how how he is going to approach a starts speaking hello how are you b pretty well thanks and you a i'm fine thanks b it's good to see you again once you observe this here i is and at the same time once you see this conversation how the conversation is going on among the people or between yourselves how do you whenever you meet your friend how do you start your conversation generally as you know hello how are you so the person i mean my friend may respond me i'm ah, fine simple ah, what are you doing what about you so this is our conversation it is informal conversation it is also informal conversation but even if it is an informal conversation we have to follow some precautions because this is english dialect english dialect that is called english language english language is completely different from all other languages as you know so we have to follow it, it is a dignified language we have to follow the precautions unless we follow the precautions it loses its dignified whereas its beautiful language so we have to follow the precautions so generally as you are as you are going to meet your friends how do you want to meet so the first one is the conversation one is useful for you so whenever you meet your friends you are not supposed to start your conversation by anything just you follow these precautions i'm not compelling you you follow as it is just these are the basics these are the basics so unless we have basics how can we continue our conversation so it's wrong so my dear students i want to say to you only one thing you follow the basics you follow basics basics are very very important so this is the basic conversation one is the basic so what is the basic here suppose there is a and b yes there is here it is an informal conversation going on between a and b see the first one hello a starts speaking a starts conversation with b how did he start here want to see hello how are you b pretty well some people they may say i am fine also right some people they may say i am good also right so here it's not a pretty and a pretty pretty well thanks and you this is the way as someone is going to ask you how you are you will have to say to them thanks i thank you 
and as they have asked you how you are you will have to ask them also how they are so that's why so as your friend is going to ask you how you are how are you you will have to ask them how about him so that's why so you have to follow this one hello how are you b pretty well thanks and you c a i'm fine thanks and b then what's your responsibility then how do you feel whenever you see your friend so really whenever you see your friend you feel very glad so that's why this is the reason it's good to see you again or it's nice to see you again or it's glad to see you again or it's nice to meet you again so you can use any other syntax so this is the conversation one and once again once you see here you observe the underlined words your yeah, i am your yeah, is what are these contractions this is actually here whenever it is generally okay some people they are calling they are calling this one as apostrophe it's wrong it's okay it is seeming like apostrophe but it is not apostrophe it is what here here it is what it is known as contraction so contractions so these are the contractions so what are the contractions here see i it's i what are this here i have it means it is or it was i am i am so contractions the short the short form pronunciations so these are what here so right now everyone is speaking it's uh, everyone is speaking a short form i am i am going i am doing i am writing so generally uh, we are hardly hearing i am going to school so we are hearing i am going to school i am doing my work yours it's it's man it's done so this is i so this is hardly hearing so what here this is i have i have generally we are hearing so here what here i generally here i have but i have it's rare we rarely hear this contraction word i so these are these types of so these types of words are called contraction words these are the short forms short forms of have forms be forms short forms of have forms be forms and auxiliaries what are they auxiliaries so auxiliaries there are two kinds here have forms also known as auxiliaries and modal verbs what are they modal verbs modal auxiliaries so anyhow these are the, so how do we have to form one pronoun plus one auxiliary is known as one contraction suppose he he is singing he is singing how do you write this one as a contraction word he is singing he is singing see he is singing here he is singing so this is known as contraction word so come on so conversation to so conversation to here also see a start speaking where have you been lately b c i b i have been busy with extra work a start speaking again i have had a lot of work to do too b replies yes i haven't seen you 
for quite a while either. So what's a, a beautiful conversation between them want to see? So here, where have we been lately? So what does lately mean? It is an adverb. Recently, it doesn't mean late. It doesn't mean late. Recently. What is that? Recently. What is late? Suppose see here, yes, I have come late for two minutes or three minutes or one hour or two hour or one day or two days or one month or two months. But we are not supposed to use lately an adverb instead of instead of L-A-T late. Please, lately is different from late. Okay? Late is now, this is adverb. But see here, some may be giving the same meaning. But here it is completely different from lately and late. So this is what here, this is completely different. This is, it is completely, lately is quite different from late. So lately means recently. So where have you been lately? So where have you been recently? B responds. I have been busy with extra work. Why did you ask him where have you been recently? That is lately. Because B is not appeared to him. So that's why he has asked him where he has been. And here, and when B responds to A, A starts asking, asking again, I have had a lot of work to do too. And B also says again, Yes, I haven't seen you for quite a while either. So beautiful conversation between two friends here. So this is the way you have to improve. This is the way you have to improve. You have to put in your practice. Why can't you get it? If you practice. See, I want to let you know only one thing. English dialect is a foreign tongue. It's not our mother tongue. Foreign tongue like our neighbor. How long do you remember your neighbor? Can you say? As long as you are be you are keeping in touch with them, you can remember. Unless you keep in touch with them, how long do you remember? Just for some time. A letter? Yes. You will forget them. English dialect also the same. It's very simple and easiest language. It's not language. Language. It's very easiest language. So that's why what you have to do, what's your work here? You just put in your practice. Put in your practice. You have to get your tongue accustomed to accustomed speaking English. English, speak English. Thoroughly speak English. Open your mouth. Try to speak. See some people, why they are, see some people, they, they have a lot of knowledge. Really, they have innumerable knowledge, but they don't have expression in English. What is the use? You have knowledge. You have knowledge in your subject. You are the one. But due to lack of communication skills, you are unable to express your views. Then what is the use? So those who are unable to express their views, just please, please, I really request you to put in practice. To put in practice. Please, try to speak English. You will get it because it is very easiest language. Yes, it is very easiest language. So once you see what a beautiful conversation. Just whenever you meet your friend, why can't you follow these basics? These are just basics. Meeting. This is just meeting. What about this one here? There are four kinds of conversation I have given. Just see, I have 
put on the board four kinds of meetings this is one kind of meeting 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 so this is regarding just whenever you meet your friend there is conversation going on between you how you both are and this is a meeting so on discussing on discussing how the both how you both are the next one why is it why 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 is it he appear to you why is it he appear to you so as he is not as he is as he has not been appear to you you have asked where have you been lately when when do you ask question when do you ask your friend when do you ask your friend Where have you been lately? Or where you have been recently? Then he is not appear to you. If he appear, if he is, if he is appear to you every day, will you ask him? No. So this one you have this conversation is useful for when when the when your friend is not appear to you. So that's why where have you been lately? Yes, be response. I have been your wish. I've been. I've. I've. Or I have been your wish. You may follow either contraction or that is contraction language. What is this? Contraction language. So this is short form. I. I have is known as short form. That is I. I have. How can you? How can you? How can you speak this one? I. This is short form of I have. So this is your wish. You can speak either contraction language or full form language. So this is why. Yes. Suppose I like to speak. I have been. No, I like to speak. I have been. So your wish. There is no compelling here. Your wish. So I have been busy with extra work. And here, yeah. Starts questioning. Uh, sorry, a a starts speaking. I I have had a lot of work to do too. So here a asks him where he has been recently, and B responds him yes he has a lot of work to do. And here a also says to him that he has also a lot of work to do. So that's why both are not. Met each other, and B across he responds, "Yes, I haven't seen you for quite a while either." This is a perfect conversation between them because both are not appear each other. Both are not appear each other. Why the both are not appear each other? Because the both are busy with their work. So whenever your friend is not appear, you have to follow. Yes, as you are going to start your conversation. Just you have follow these basics. So these are the contraction words. This is I have. This is also I. I will. I will. Now come to conversation three. So this is C. A. Hello. How is everything? B. Fine, thanks. How about you? A. Just fine. What's new? B. Nothing much. This is now. It's a trending. Conversation. It's trending conversation. Most of the people follow this conversation. Want to see A? Just A and B. They are going to come across each other. So as they are going to come across, come across each other, A starts speaking to B. See, basically, most of the people are making one mistake. They are saying speaking with, talking with. It's wrong. Speak, talk never follows the preposition with. It always follows the preposition to. T O to. Okay. The right pronunciation of this one ta. T O. Generally we are pronouncing it's to, but the right one ta. Anyhow you have to follow to. So talk. Speak. The both verb forms 
follow the preposition to i speak to him i talk to him she is speaking she is speaking to her mother they are talking to their enemies okay have you understood yes you follow so here so how what about the see conversation 3 is really it's a a training conversation everyone is following this one right now so hello how is everything simple so we response fine thanks see this is very very important fine thanks how about you i have already told you conversation one whenever someone asks you how you are you will have to respond them fine and say to them also thanks and you have the responsibility to ask them how the person is okay so this is so whenever someone asks you how are you you will have to say pretty well or i am fine and also you have to follow thanks and on finishing this one you will have to ask them and you he is nothing but how are you that is how the person is okay so here also see hello how is everything so when the person starts conversation with the hello how is everything see b how does he respond fine thanks how about you a just fine what he said here just fine why he need to mention here just fine so he is not it indicates that he is not completely fine he is just somewhat fine what's you yes why did he need to ask this one the ask the question what's you he would like to know something else so here be nothing much so he he doesn't have anything to say to him that's why he closed his conversation with nothing much if he has something to say to him then he starts saying to him something okay so this is the training conversation so once again he starts he starts speaking to be hello how is everything and b responds fine thanks how about you a says to him just fine and on saying that he as he just fine he would like to know something from him so that's why he asked the question what's new he did it stop this conversation he continued with the question what's new so that's why whenever you stop your conversation with your friend as you want to continue your conversation you are not supposed to stop you have to raise the question if you raise the question your friend will have to answer to you unless you ask the question how can he that is how, how can you get reply from him it's impossible so that's all so just find what's new but b does he have anything to say to a that's why he said so he says nothing much it's closed and now come to conversation for what about conversation for here also this is contraction word how is everything house house everything but see he h o e s e also there house it's a house 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 of course same pronunciation pronunciation same not pronunciation pronunciation what is that pronunciation pronunciation same house house but this is a house everything not a house everything that is different okay so that's why you will have to find out the contraction so this is nothing but how is everything i see conversation for and again you are going to see another contraction so same as we as we have already seen in conversation on in conversation for also there is i so a starts conversation i am pleased to meet you very healthy conversation very healthy word what is that very healthy word 
Yes, I am pleased to meet you. B responds, the plaza is mine. A starts speaking to him again. I have heard Pawn speaking about you often. Not speak here. Speaking. Speaking. Uh, I have heard Pawn speak about you often also, right? So, this is non-finite. You can use there. So, I have heard Pawn speaking about you often. B responds, only good things I hope. See? Once you observe this conversation, what about the first two lines and what about, what about the first conversation between them and what about the second conversation between them? See, first one, A starts, suppose that is in, see, this is very healthy conversation, hygiene conversation. So generally, nowadays all the people are using this one. So I am pleased to meet you. Suppose your friend, you have yes, you have just met him after a long time. How do you feel? Yes, you feel very glad. But now, as you feel very glad, how do you express? So this is your expression. I am pleased to meet you. So B also responds, the pleasure is mine. So when your friend when your friend starts conversation with you as he is pleased to meet you, how do you respond? It's okay if you want to say, it's wrong. So this is what I am saying, that you have to learn, that you have to learn this kind of basics. So I ask someone, so these are all conversation 1, conversation 2, conversation 3, conversation 4. To the question, how do you respond? To the talk, to the conversation talk, how do you respond? In which way do you have to respond? So response is very, very important. Generally, friends may have casual talk. But they have to follow the basics. Because this is English dialect. Okay? So whenever your friend starts conversation with, I am pleased to meet you, I am Yes, I am pleased to meet you, or I am delightful to meet you, or I am nice to meet you, or I am glad to meet you. What's your reply? Your reply cannot be known as It's okay. Ah. Okay, how are you? See, it is going other way. So, whenever your friend starts conversation with, and whenever you hear from your friend, as he is pleased to meet you, you are responsible to reply him as the pleasure is mine or it's my pleasure. The pleasure is mine or it's my pleasure. So and again, so as on completing your reply, then A, again your friend stops. I have heard Paul speaking about you often. So this is very very important the both. So then your friend, so you are okay. Your friend starts. So he is so he is so glad to meet you again. So when he is so glad to meet you again, just he started. He has started conversation to prolong. So what he, what what has he started here? I have heard Paul speaking about you often. See, my dear friend, I have heard. I have heard often. So, I have heard Pawn, I have heard Pawn speaking about you often. Okay? So, frequently he hears Pawn talking about you. And what's your response here? Now you have a kind of tremor. So with the same time, primary is nothing but a kind of fear. So what here, okay. Your friend says to you, I have heard Pawan speaking about you often. But frequently he hears what Pawan speaking about you. But what he is speaking to him or what he is saying to him about you, you will get it out. 
so that's why this is the reason i hope only good things so you are expecting that pawan is speaking to your friend about you in a good way not in bad way no one expects that someone is speaking about you in bad way isn't it so see what a beautiful conversation here what a beautiful conversation so that's why you have to follow the basics so whenever your friend says to you that he has heard someone speaking about you frequently or often so your response is what's your response here not response it is response so what's your response here i hope only good things so what does it mean so you you don't want to expect the person who is speaking bad things okay so once you observe these four kinds of conversations i hope you will have to take a paper and pen and note down all the conversations and put in practice unless you practice we can't get it really so what's your here see conversation one conversation two conversation three conversation four what about this for question this is answer for question this is answer so how do you have to converse how do you have to start your conversation with your friend whenever you are going to come across your friend if you start if you start if you start your if you start the conversation with your friend as you are going to come across him hello how are you then you will have to expect pretty well thanks and you or if your friend starts conversation with you as hello how are you then you will have to respond to him pretty well thanks and you these are the basics these are the basics what i am saying to you these are the basics you have to follow and this is a hygienic conversation healthy conversation so if you follow this kind of conversation you know the minimum basics and minimum communication skills so as you are pursuing engineering you will have to maintain this kind of basics so as you are following how are you hello how are you ha ah, i am fine i am fine ha ah, what about you this is see what no whenever your friend comes across you and starts conversation with hello how are you how he has asked then what's your response so you will have to respond him pretty well thanks a uh, thank you and you this is your responsible so as someone is wishing you as someone as someone wants to know how you are what's your response and as they want to know how you are don't you want to know how they are see as your friend wants to know how you are don't you want to know how he is or how she is yes you are responsible so that's why hello how are you pretty well thanks and you how does he or she feel do you know yes he or she feels very fine so that's why i see that's why they say i am fine thanks it's good to see you again so this you have to follow this is four conversational four conversations regarding only meeting regarding only meeting so let's discuss exercise part in next class thank you